The lead plane of each squadron, upon becoming airborne, proceeds for about 90 seconds. It banks sharply to indicate its turning point, then goes into a slow left turn. Each successive plane in the element turns as soon as the pilot sees the plane in front of him turn. The element of three planes levels off at 1,000 feet and returns parallel to the takeoff runway at a distance of about two miles. Here the elements start to assemble into squadrons of six. Continuing to circle the field, the squadrons then go to 2,000 feet, where the group assembly takes place. This accomplished, the group now moves on to the combat wing assembly point. Here is how the group stacks up from the side. The group has a depth of 850 feet. This is how the group looks from above. In the lead squadron, the second element is flown with the nose of the leader slightly behind and to the right of the right wing aircraft, first element. The lead plane of the high squadron flies even with the lead plane, second element, lead squadron. The second element of the high squadron flies with the leader's nose just behind and to the left of the left wing aircraft, first element. Here is the group as an enemy fighter pilot sees it from head on. The first element of the lead squadron is stacked high left and low right. The first element of the low squadron is stacked high right and low left. Likewise, the first element of the high squadron is stacked high right and low left. All second elements are flown low. The second element of the lead squadron is stacked high left and low right. The second elements of the high and low squadrons are stacked high right and low left. Experience has shown that this arrangement of the group brings to bear on attacking fighters the greatest possible amount of firepower by utilizing to fullest advantage the field of fire of each gun in the formation. Again, it has proved to be the most maneuverable formation from which to execute the primary and all important purpose of the mission the dropping of the bomb loads on a precise target. Obviously, it would be desirable to stack as many bombing planes as possible in one defensive formation. However, it has been found that the largest practical defensive formation is the combat wing of three groups. Any formation of aircraft larger than this becomes unwieldy. This force has a depth of 3,000 feet. The nose of the lead aircraft of the low group is aligned with the tail and slightly to the left of the rearmost aircraft of the lead element, lead squadron, lead group. The nose of the lead aircraft of the high group is aligned with the tail of the rearmost aircraft of the lead element, lead squadron, lead group. The combat wing having been assembled, they now move on to make rendezvous with the rest of the task force. In this case, another combat wing.